In a couple of my previous videos, I talked about storing OneNote notebooks on Microsoft's OneDrive cloud storage so that you can share the notebook. So today, I wanna to talk a little bit about some of the other things that you can share using OneDrive. Whether it's documents, video, audio, or even those family photos, sharing things with others using OneDrive is a piece of cake. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the methods for sharing files and folders using OneDrive. I'll be back at the end of the video to share a link and show you how you can get hooked up with your own Microsoft OneDrive. But in the meantime, let me show you how to share just about anything with just about anyone using Microsoft's OneDrive cloud storage. To begin sharing files and folders using the online version of OneDrive, you'll first need to sign in to your OneDrive account. After signing in, I'll need to navigate to the folder containing the file that I'd like to share, and then select the file by clicking the small radio button to the left of the file name. From here, I can now share using one of three methods. I can select the share icon at the top of the screen. I can hold my mouse over the file and then select the share icon to the right. Or I can select the three dots and then select share from the expanded menu. After selecting the share command, I have a few options. The first one is to allow editing of the file. By unchecking this, I can also send the link and the person accessing the file can only read or view the file without editing it. I can also set an expiration date for the link to the file. The default is 30. I can set that date to any uh, number of days that work for me. And I can also add a password for the link so that anyone with the link will also need to type in a password that I've created in order to access the file. I can also click get a link and then I can copy the link to the file that I'm sharing and this will allow me to use my own email programs and to customize and personalize the message containing the link. I could also email the link by selecting the email option and then it will create a email message where I can type in the email address of the person that I'm sharing the file with as well as a personalized message. Once the file has been shared, a sharing icon shows on the screen and I can manage the shares simply by selecting the file and then moving to the information button here on the top right corner of the screen. When I do, I'm given all of the information about the file that I'm sharing as well as the ability to manage access to the file by those people that I'm sharing it with. If I select manage access, then it will show those individuals that I am sharing with, as well as the link that I can send to anyone. To manage that link, I can select the small arrow here at the bottom and change the expiration date, set a password, or remove the link. I can also select the small X to the right and remove the link this way. When I click the X, I'm then given a confirmation that I do want to remove the link then the general link has now been removed. I still have the access granted to one other person and I can remove or change that access by once again clicking the small arrow and then changing the option to view only or stop sharing the file. Once I select stop sharing, then the file is updated I can close the information pane and the file is once again marked as private. You can also share folders using OneDrive Online. And to share a folder, it's very similar. You just move to the folder that you'd like to share, select the small button, and then share using the icons either at the top of the screen or on the same row as the file. 
I can share the file by selecting share options that were available for files. And as you can tell, they're very similar. When using OneDrive Online, I can also manage files that uh, I am sharing or that have been shared with me. And I can do that by moving to the left and then selecting the shared feature. When I select a shared option, it now shows all files that I'm sharing as well as any files that are shared with me. And I can manage those shares just like uh, in the previous window, just by going to the file, right clicking the file, and then selecting details. From here, any sharing options are now available and I can manage those share options just like I could by selecting the individual files from my file system. You can also share files and folders using the OneDrive for mobile app. To share a file or folder using the mobile app, you can just navigate to OneDrive, then to the file or folder that you'd like to share, and then select the small ellipses to the right of the file. From there, you can select share, and then you have several options for sharing, including creating a link, sending the link by email, or even distributing the link using one of several applications on your mobile device or even social media. If your OneDrive is active on a computer running Windows 10, then you can share directly from your file manager or explorer. To do that, you'll just navigate to the folders on the left-hand side and then open the folder that contains the files for sharing. Once the files are visible in the center, you can just move to the file and then right-click. Once you right-click, you can then share using Share a OneDrive link. Once you select the OneDrive link option, then you'll receive a message in the bottom right corner that will notify you that the link has been created and copied into your clipboard. You can use the paste command to paste the sharing link into any email message. So there are a few methods for sharing files and folders using Microsoft's OneDrive cloud storage. And like I promised, here's a link so that you can get hooked up with your own OneDrive. Oh, and the link is also in the video description if you need it. I hope that takes away some of the fear of file sharing by using OneDrive because sharing is supposed to be easy and fun. So until our next video, thanks for joining me. And I'm Wayne.